You need to understand the pros and cons of the 401k and Roth IRA. A 401k is a retirement plan that your company will offer you. It's up to you whether you want to put money into the 401k or not. If you want to put money into the 401k, the money will be coming out of your paycheck. But you get to decide how much of your paycheck goes into your 401k. Now let me tell you the pros and cons of a 401k, and we're going to get started with the pros. The first one is a tax write-off. When you put money into your 401k, it lowers your taxable income, so it's a tax deduction. Two, employer matching. Many companies will offer you a match. If you put money into a 401k, your company will contribute additional money into your account, so this is basically free money for you. Number three, bigger contribution limits. So there's a maximum amount of money that you're allowed to put into your 401k each year. That amount gets adjusted for inflation every year. In 2023, the limit is $22,500, but compare that to a Roth IRA, which is $6,500. So if you're looking to contribute more money to save for retirement, then this is definitely something that you'll keep in mind. So those are the good things about a 401k, but let me tell you about the bad things as well. So here are the cons of a 401k. The first one is taxes. So here's the thing, when you put money into a 401k, you receive a tax deduction. However, when you take that money out, you're gonna have to pay taxes on it. Number two, higher fees. Some 401k plans charge you high fees. However, the Department of Labor requires that 401k providers disclose all fees. Therefore, make sure that you pay attention to the fees and expense ratios because over time, these add up and they can make a significant impact on your returns. Number three, limited investment options. So the 401k offers a limited amount of mutual funds or ETFs that you can choose from. What you can invest in within the 401k it's generally gonna be broad and diversified, which is, that's probably the safer option for most people. However, that does mean that if you're looking for a particular investment, it may not be an option within your 401k. Number four, early withdrawal penalties. If you withdraw your money from your 401k before your retirement age, then you will get penalized. It's currently set at 59 and a half years old. So yes, there are some exceptions to this rule, However, in most instances, you will be subject to a 10% early withdrawal penalty. Therefore, early withdrawals will be taxed and penalized. Number five, required minimum distributions. At the age of 72, you will be forced to withdraw a minimum amount of money from your 401k each year. The minimum amount is based on your life expectancy and your account balance. So that's the good and the bad of the 401k. Now let me tell you about the Roth IRA. A Roth IRA is a retirement plan that you set up outside of your work. So let's go over the pros and cons and we'll start with the pros. Number one, tax free. The awesome thing about a Roth IRA is that any money that you make within the Roth IRA will be tax free. Therefore, when you take your money out at retirement, it's all tax free, the whole thing. Number two, more investment options. The Roth IRA will offer more investment options compared to a 401k. It's ultimately gonna depend on the financial institution that you go with. Number three, minimal fees. Compared to a 401k, the Roth IRA is known for having less fees. That's because financial institutions compete for your business, therefore you should be able to find very competitive fees on your Roth IRA. Number four, no required minimum distributions. You will not be forced to withdraw money from your Roth IRA regardless of your age. So this is gonna allow you to experience more tax-free growth. Number five, no early withdrawal penalties. You can take out your contributions without paying any penalties or taxes, but this will not apply to your earnings. Let's say that you put $1,000 directly into your Roth IRA. If it grows to $1,200 in total, then you can withdraw up to $1,000 penalty free. If you take out the remaining $200 of earnings, the $200 would be subject to penalty.